My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. What I have here today is the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket. Believe it or not, folks, it has been eight years since I initially reviewed this product. It sure is amazing how fast time is flying, folks. Since I reviewed this product eight years ago, interestingly enough, I have purchased 44 of these blankets over the years. In this episode, I'll tell you why that is. With that being said, though, the primary focus of this episode is to basically go over my thoughts concerning this product after eight years of use. As you can imagine, I have used this product in many, many ways. So in this episode, I'm sharing my thoughts, my experience, experiences and why I like this product so much. When I reviewed this blanket eight years ago, I loved it then and I continue to love it to this day. And that's because this is an excellent product. It is highly versatile, not too heavy, and at the same time, it's warm and lightweight. Inside of this compression storage bag is the jungle blanket. Now this is not the storage bag that came with this product. This is actually from a snug pack under quilt. What I did with the original storage bag, I have no idea. It has been eight years after all. So at some point in time, I lost it and I've been using this ever since. So what you're going to receive is going to be very similar to this. It is going to be a compression bag. The compression bag that you see here and the one that you receive with this blanket, basically they're identical. You're not going to be able to tell the difference between the two. This is the regular size version. There's also a large size version now. With the blanket that you see here, let's touch upon the materials real quick. The top layer is what Snug Pack refers to as the micro diamond shell. It features a water repellent treatment. As far as the insulation goes, that is a travel soft insulation. This retains heat even when it's wet and it's easily washable. On the bottom of the blanket, the side that goes against your skin, that is a super soft lining. That is moisture wicking. With this blanket and all of the materials, they have been treated with an antibacterial treatment that discourages the growth of bacteria, which means that you do not have to wash this blanket as much as you would with some other products. With the regular size that you see here, it measures 76 inches by 64 inches. When it comes to the large size, it measures 90 inches by 72 inches. When it comes to the stored size for the regular version, that's seven inches by seven inches. As far as the weight goes, the blanket itself weighs 1.5 pounds. Once you throw in the storage bag, the weight goes to 1.7 pounds. When it comes to the large version, the blanket weighs two pounds, and with the storage bag, 2.2 pounds. As far as the temperature rating goes for this blanket, the company claims from 45 down to 36 degrees. I do not agree with this at all. You would have to be wearing a substantial amount of clothing to make that possible for you to be comfortable. It would be my advice to use this blanket with regular clothing down to roughly 55 degrees. 55 degrees and up, you're going to be comfortable. 55 degrees and below, you're going to be cold. Do take those estimates with a grain of salt because some people run hot, some people run cold, everyone's different. With my testing and for myself, those are the best estimates that I can give. Additionally, in cool to cold conditions, you will need a good sleeping pad with a good amount of R value so that you can be comfortable with a product like this. Lastly, as far as the price goes for this product, the regular size runs about 60 bucks and the large size around 70. When I purchased this product back in 2015, these were selling for $40. As far as my experiences go with this product here, I will touch upon some of the the trips, some of the conditions that I've faced. And basically folks, this blanket has seen it all. Here in the mountains of North Carolina, across the country, out in the desert, down at the beach, very hot conditions, mild conditions, wet conditions, dry conditions, so on and so forth. I've used this in the back of my truck. I've used it in a tent. I've used it in a hammock, so on and so forth. Going hand in hand with the durability, we do have to talk about the insulation. The way that this blanket has been made prevents the insulation from moving around. So basically, this blanket is composed of rectangles. So you have tons of them. And basically, it's these rectangles that keep the insulation put. That way, you don't have to worry about the insulation moving around as you use this blanket. With all of my experience with this product, I can tell you all, I love this blanket for the money, even at 60 bucks. This is well worth the price. The quality of this product has been fantastic from day one. It's hard to believe that this blanket here is eight years old because it looks brand new. But the thing is this, I have used this blanket on dozens of trips and it's amazing to me. It doesn't smell and it's not even dirty, even though I have dragged this blanket from state to state, from one adventure to the next, but yet it just keeps on going. So not only is the quality great on this product, but so is the durability. The materials that the company used, they are excellent. Again, after eight years, it doesn't even show any signs of wear. That's impressive. The reason why Susie and I have purchased 44 of these blankets over the years is pretty simple. First off, the first one was for me. 
I love the product. I thought it was great. The value was great. It was warm enough, light enough. It just made sense for like summertime use. As the channel has become more and more popular over the years, everywhere we go, we're being noticed. Anytime that we get noticed and there's a young child there, someone who's interested in the outdoors, we purchase them a blanket. So over the years, we have purchased literally 44 of those blankets. And in fact, we just recently purchased another one at the beginning of this month for another young viewer. Basically, we're just doing our part to encourage young folk to get into the outdoors. There's nothing wrong with playing video games or playing on the internet or whatever, but if I can encourage a young person to get into the outdoors, I will do my part. I will help out. So it's my hope that by purchasing these products and sharing these with young kids, that they have been able to get into the outdoors and hopefully it makes a difference. Hopefully so. 44 blankets over the years. That adds up to be quite a bit of money, but you know, once you break it out over a period of time, over eight years, it's really not that bad per year. I should mention this, we have purchased 44 of these blankets for boys. We've also purchased, I don't know how many like pink colored blankets. I'm not sure what company those are from, but we have purchased those for the girls who are interested in the outdoors. An additional aspect to this blanket that I absolutely love is the fact that it's so versatile. You can use this for just about any sort of application. Backpacking, car camping, truck camping, hammock use you can use it as home you can use it as part of like an emergency system prepping situation it can even be part of your day hike kit bag a sort of just in case item just in case you get hurt on the trail get lost on the trail and so on at the same time with this product it's very compressible also it's not very heavy so it doesn't take up much space and it doesn't weigh you down both of those factors are important with the antibacterial treatment it does work i mean eight years i've never washed it no smell, it looks great, and I still do not need to wash it. Which is a good thing, because washing blankets like this, or sleeping bags, or anything like that, it is a pain in the you know what. So the fact that I don't have to wash this anytime soon, or even after eight years of use, it's a good thing. In other words, with this blanket, the maintenance level is very low, and that makes it a very convenient product to use over and over again. One aspect to this blanket that has always impressed me is the water repellent treatment that they've done to it. It works incredibly well, and after even eight years, it's still rather strong with this blanket. That way, if you're using it in a wet situation, the water is repelled from the blanket itself. Even if the blanket does get wet, it retains heat and it can keep you warm. Now, of course, that doesn't mean a whole lot because the truth is this, if you're soaking wet, if your insulation is soaking wet, it's not like you can take that blanket and put it around you and all of a sudden you're going to be toasty warm because that's not the case. It will retain some of your body heat. It will make a difference, but you're not going to be super comfortable or anything like that. But with that being said, using it inside of a tent with a lot of condensation, inside of a bivy, it definitely helps. As far as the price goes for this blanket, at 60 bucks, in my opinion, this is more than fair. The large version, $70, $10 more. For what you're getting with this product, for the versatility, the low weight, the warmth, this is without a doubt, in my opinion, worth the money. Speaking of warmth, even though this blanket is relatively thin, it does a great job of keeping you warm and it's perfect for summertime use. While it's not as warm as the company claims, it is without a doubt warm enough for summertime use. And something else to consider is this fact, because it's so lightweight, you can use this with your sleeping bag in cold conditions to add some warmth to your sleep system. Basically, you can double up. You can wrap yourself up in the blanket, hop inside of your sleeping bag, and just like that, you've added at least 10 degrees to your sleep system. For that purpose, it really does work well as well. As far as the overall size goes of this blanket, it's large enough for the average individual. I will say this though, if you're a larger individual, a taller individual, get the large size. You're going to appreciate the additional length and width. An additional pro to this blanket, in my opinion, are the looks. This is a nice looking blanket. It's very cool looking, in fact. The outside layer, the shell, I've never seen anything like it before. And additionally, the inside material is quite comfortable. It's very soft, it's not very silky, it doesn't feel wet or anything like that. And that's the case with many sleeping bag materials or quilt materials. Oftentimes these products have a tendency to feel wet against your skin because of the silky nature of the material, but that's not the case here. The inside material is very comfortable against your skin. When it comes time to turn in for the night, you will appreciate that fact. Those are the pros that I have concerning this blanket. As far as the cons go, folks, I don't have any. This blanket is fantastic for the money. There's really no issues here. This is one product from Snug Pack that over the years has not changed. The price hasn't gone sky high, the quality hasn't dropped, it's remained very consistent. And because of that, I can continue to recommend this product. The only real con that I can mention for this product is the fact that the Snug Pack temperature rating claims are simply not accurate. At 45 degrees with this blanket with regular clothing, you will be cold. At 36 degrees, <laughs> you're not going to be a happy camper. You may survive the night, but 
yeah, you're never going to do that again, I promise you. With all of my testing for most people, 55 degrees and up is the sweet spot for this blanket. At 55 degrees and lower, you're going to be cold. In the end with this product, it's the warmer conditions where this blanket shines. In the fall, in the winter, again, you can use this with your sleeping bag with other components and you can make yourself a nice kit. So there you have it, my friends. That is the Jungle Blanket, my updated review after eight years of use. Without a doubt, this is a fantastic product. It's a product that I can easily recommend. The price is right, the size is right, the weight is right, and in truth, the blanket doesn't do anything wrong. The quality has remained good, while unfortunately, you really can't say the same about all Snug Pack products. Snug Pack is one of those companies where if I heard tomorrow that they had gone bankrupt, I would not be surprised at all. A few years ago, the future was bright for this company, but as it stands right now, you really don't hear anything from them or about them. Their prices have gone up so high that many of their products don't make sense, and at the same time, the quality of their products have gone downhill. The exception is this blanket here. I am done talking. That means it's your turn. Comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about the Jungle Blanket? Is it a product that you would recommend to other outdoorsmen? outdoors women, and so on. What pros and cons do you have? Comment down below. Before you go, hit the thumbs up. It helps a lot. Take care. Be well. Strength and honor. Bye for now.